Hey Taurus, welcome to your love focus for October 2020. Let's go ahead and take a beautiful deep breath in. You ready? Okay, dear Taurus, we're going to go through what blocks you have in your love life first and then go from there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, all right. And remember, they're always fixable every single time. They're fixable. Okay, always. So with Atlantis and with forgiveness here, I'm going to go ahead and ask Spirit to show us your solution. Praise Jesus. Pray. I feel like, you know, Taurus, you come into October and there's a, I feel like there's a release and the inability and the style of praying and how you're connecting with source and the spiritual downloads that you're receiving. I feel like there's a lot of messages you're receiving. I feel like you are very psychic and um, I just feel like there's a lot of fear around um, you sharing that with people and I feel like some of you have just been judged really. I think um, there is a need for you to escape in your love life. And I feel like in that escape, you really wonder if this is the right one. Did you make the right choices? And just forgive yourself. You know, just forgive them and forgive yourself. And that forgiveness of what happened in the past, of you wanting to step out on them, and just going through such a rocky time and holding on to the past pain, that forgiveness is for you. It allows you to just do this. Boom. I just release it. And when you release the pain from the past, you're able to really open up to true love. And it's a matter of with or without you type of a release. Because mid-month, you really have this blessed energy to start fresh in whatever is healthiest for you in your love life. See, forgiveness fuels us in a different way. It actually releases us. But that resentment and even the guilt before we forgive ourselves or, or our partner or exes, it really fuels us to prove them wrong. And we can hold on to that for years and years and years and not realize that that energy is toxic and it's actually us that is toxic. But remember what Spirit said in the beginning, everything is fixable. And forgiveness through Christ Jesus, because we don't have to harbor any judgment towards anybody, is going to release you from the burden that you've been carrying around on your shoulders. And that creates this frequency shift of loving energy that says you no longer have to hide behind this facade or this living your life for someone else. Um, I feel like many of you also who are not coupled up have been living your life for other people, for your parents, and um, you've been afraid to, wow, Aries just got this too, been afraid to really claim the love that you deserve and that you desire and that you've been dreaming for and that you you really feel this pull towards simply because the person may not be of the same culture, they may not be 
someone that was approved by the family. And I just feel like you're coming into your own to say, you know, I'm going to do my love life the way I'm going to do it and what's healthiest for me. And you might decide, you know what, I'm going to have a life partner versus a spouse. I'm going to, um, I'm homosexual versus heterosexual. I'm going back to my ex-husband and we're going to get married for the fifth time, you know. But take some time out of your usual life and commune with the Most High. Spend it in solitude. And with the spirit of the boar, face your problems head on with confidence and courage. And you will emerge victorious. Your affirmation this month is, I know I am part of Source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. With the crown chakra here, this is your seventh primary chakra. And the spiritual meaning to 26 is simply that you are here and your partner or the one that is divinely ordained is right here. And you come together in balanced harmony. And that creates this full circle of happiness and unconditional love. And so you've got to meet each other on a spiritual level. This is a, a true union of unconditional love and you're uniting both physically and spiritually so that you can improve the spiritual life of each other and enjoy everlasting love and unity throughout all the worlds of God. And that's the type of life partnership ooh, that spirit has waiting for you. Dear Taurus. So let me congratulate some people in advance. And know that you are moving your relationship life to a deeper commitment. There's some friends starting to date. There's uh, some exclusivity. There's um, engagement, marriage proposals. And if you're single... You've moved up in your self-love habits and you're ready for the next step in the dating process. And this is a beautiful month for you in love, but it all starts with Christ Jesus and forgiveness and holding on to the type of love that you so desire. So let me just give you a rundown of your placement in the stars this month because you have a beautiful month ahead. So I feel like you come into October with this awareness of what has to go spiritually and what is out of balance and how much it is imperative for your happiness in your love life to be in balanced harmony with our creator. And I do feel like there's some hidden enemies coming out. I feel like there's some open discussions that need to be made, some serious conversations. And I feel like you really do have to face your fears in love and you know that. And um, it's going to come pretty heavy on your shoulders. But then mid-month, give or take 72 hours before and certainly after the 16th, I feel like You've got this new breath of fresh air and this willingness and this understanding that you can have what's healthiest for you and you go after it. Like you really make an action and you're best served to just take that leap of faith and grow your wings through it and you know that you'll land on your feet and be heard and make those, those steps, take that action to greater love and security and I feel like there's a fear of commitment there also by the end of the month the 31st that's your full moon and it's releasing the sides of self that have kept you stuck and sad and with toxic relationships um, just hanging on to uh, what you know to be and even if it's toxic and being able to say, you know what, no more. 
I deserve better. Well, dear Taurus, thank you so much for allowing me to channel your spiritual guidance. And remember, you do deserve better. You deserve more than you've ever had before. And remember, loyalty to self and your connection with our Creator has to be priority. And everything else will work itself out. Mwah. If I can help you, click the links down below. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Stay safe and healthy. And be blessed.